I'm Gabriella. And I'm Michael. And this is Gridiron Talks. This is episode 6 of Gridiron Talks. I'm Michael Allen. And I'm Gabriella Garcia. For the game recap, the Bears lost 48-23 to against the Cardinals on Sunday. Jay Culler exited late in the first half with a hamstring injury he suffered on safety Tony Jefferson's 26-yard interception return touchdown. After throwing behind Martellus Bennett on the play, Culler sprinted a few steps toward the sideline and then tried to make a diving tackle, landing hard on his right shoulder. Culler looked sharp prior to the interception, completing 8 of 8 passes for 120 yards and 1 touchdown and leading the Bears in rushing with 24 yards. Even after the pick, he left the game with an impressive 116.2 passer rating. The Bears' defense was no match for Carson Palmer passed for 185 yards with four touchdowns, one interception, and 115.5 passer rating. Larry Fitzgerald had three touchdown receptions for the first time in his 12-year NFL career. The Bears started the game the most horrible way possible letting rookie David Johnson return the opening kickoff 108 yards for a touchdown. They committed 14 penalties for 170 yards, pass interference penalties of 42 yards against Kyle Fuller and 38 yards on Allen Ball, set up Arizona's first two offensive touchdowns. After Cutler exited, the Bears struggled with backup Jimmy Clausen, failing to get into the end zone on their final nine possessions. Clausen completed 14 of 23 passes, for 121 yards with one interception and a 56.6 passer rating. Bears are now 0-2. Good news is Jay Culler's injury isn't severe. Bad news is he will miss at least two weeks and backup Jimmy Clausen will start. This week, the Bears promote defensive lineman Brandon Dunn to the 53-man roster and wave defensive back Dermonte Hurst. We are around the league news this week. Tony Romo suffers a fractured left clavicle in a game against the Eagles. He will miss at least eight weeks. The Cowboys put him on the IR and designated to return list. Eligible to return week 11 when the Cowboys take on Miami. Keeping with the quarterback injury situation, Drew Brees is believed to have a rotator cuff injury. He will be likely to miss some games. With x-rays on his sprained ankle coming back negative, Packers running back Eddie Lacy is now hoping to play next Monday night against the Chiefs. Here's something that's pretty interesting. What I'm about to give you is a list of quarterbacks, that's right, quarterbacks, who have had more rushing yards than all of the Eagles running backs combined. So we're going to start with Cam Newton, Colin Kaepernick, Tyroy Taylor, Blake Bortles, Jay Cutler, Derek Carr, Eli Manning, Jameis Winston, Teddy Bridgewater, Matt Stafford, Marcus Mariota, Ryan Tannehill, Alex Smith, Tony Romo, Andy Dalton, Sam Bradford, Ryan Mallett, Philip Rivers, Joe Flacco, Nick Foles, Johnny Manziel, Ben Roethlisberger, Matt Ryan, and Drew Brees. So pretty much the entire NFL and all the starting quarterbacks have had more rushing yards than the Eagles running backs have in first two games of the season. That's outrageous. You have a star running back such as DeMarco Murray and he can't gain more yards than Jay Cutler or even Andy Dalton. Come on. For this week's highlight of the week, Colts defensive backs Vontae Davis and Mike Adams pick off Ryan Fitzpatrick for a deep ball to Brandon Marshall. This week's Bear of the Week is... <laughs> Josh Bellamy. First career catch was a 48-yard touchdown on Sunday thrown by no one other than Jay Cutler. Last week, we asked you guys a question. It was a true or false question. The 2014 routing of the Denver Broncos by the Seattle Seahawks was their worst Super Bowl defeat ever when they lost by 35 points. True or false? The answer is false. The Broncos suffered a bigger defeat in 1990 when the San Francisco 49ers won 55 to 10. Now for this week, we have a new question. Here it is. Is a final score of 1-0 to zero possible in football? I'll say it again. Is a final score of 1-0 to zero possible in football? Let us know. 
And that's going to do it for Gridiron Talks. The Bears do take on the Seahawks this Sunday at 325. Have a good one and bear down.